Stan Efferding, S-T-A-N-E-F-F-E-R-D-I-N-G. At Stan Efferding on Instagram, StanEfferding.com is my website, Stan Efferding on YouTube. Used to be at one time when I was a younger man, the world's strongest pro bodybuilder, world record in powerlifting, and uh, IFBB pro bodybuilder. So there we are. Can you beat Larry Wheels right now? No, not a chance. That man's a female. Uh, literally just a broom handle right here, but yeah, you're just going to see my left shoulder range of motion right here. So a little stuck. This is some lat, some actual shoulder degeneration. So I have a rotator yep. cup tear, uh, slap tear in the labrum here, AC joint separation. As long as I keep my rotator pretty strong and my belt strong, I don't yeah. worry about it too much. Your deltoid is your prime mover of the shoulder. As long as it's strong, your rotator actually doesn't have to do as much. I gotta tell you a great story. I couldn't lift my arm higher than this uh -huh. for a few years. Uh -huh. I couldn't put a dish in the cupboard. Oof. And I was doing all these little exercises and I went to physical therapists, we did the band work and everything. And I wasn't having any luck. Right. So one day I was watching um, a video on uh, starting strengths, uh -huh. shoulder press, where they turned the hands in and then did an overhead press, but at the top of the movement, they shrugged okay. to prevent the humerus from banging into the scapula, okay. right? Yeah. So I went out with just the bar, okay. and I had an overhead press in probably three years. And I, I turned the hands in mm -hmm. when I grabbed the bar, kept, some kept it space. here, right? And, and then I pressed up it. and I started shrugging. And it didn't hurt, I wasn't strong. Right, because your muscles are atrophied in that range. 100%. So over, and I couldn't even bench press, and you know how I love the bench. Sure. So over the course of the next few months, I started slowly and gradually, progressively adding weight twice a week. And now I can overhead press now, yeah. 225. Nice. Which I was never much of an overhead presser. I have no pain. I and I don't know if you had imaging or not, but none of that probably got any better, but you're functionally much better. That's what you just said, because the deltoid is the primary muscle. And yeah, now I strengthened the shoulder joint. I hadn't strengthened it. I hadn't used it in, in years. So then you were relying on your rotator cup, which the, are stabilizers, yeah. not movers. Is that the supraspinatus? Yeah, the super uh, Yeah, absolutely. They're not meant to be the big the mover. You've ever done cut up with cadavers? Yeah. And I've cut up in 15 or 20 over the years. So you can do this, but I could never do this. Right. You need your deltoid to work. Yeah. So, so that was that was awesome. So, so what, great one thing we'll, we'll teach people for like, uh, like frozen shoulders or whatever, it depends on where they are. If they can handle this, we'll put them there, but we may put them here to start with. Yeah. So for me, you're just going to go passive here. So I turn the left shoulder off completely. All I'm doing is just forcing through this top range of motion. I used to right have to arm. do that. I used to lift this arm up with this arm. Yeah. So I'm just getting the joint used to moving. I'm getting a little stretch in the lat. I'm getting the gotcha. synovial fluid moving. But if I can't get through that actively first, what I want to do is create the passive motion first, and then I'll get back to the active later. Gotcha. Then I can use the muscle to move through its full range. Yeah. So when people see our stuff, what you're seeing is that they can't get to full range to even use their muscles to begin with. Yeah. So that's going to be a problem. Like you said, if you, you figure it out because you're smart enough. Other people aren't going to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah. What happens after somebody gets a shoulder surgery and doesn't move? They get a frozen shoulder. And if you've ever had a broken bone or a cast, I had a cast up to my hip, you know, six weeks. Exactly. Couldn't bend my knee when I came out of it. Right. And it's amazing how quick your muscles go. Yeah. Yeah. You work your whole life to build them and you know, give yourself four weeks and it's like, Joe damn. Joe say it's like a sandcastle, building a sandcastle. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> One All good right. wave comes in. You and now we're just going to see where I'm at now. So yeah. see my shoulder on? Let me try that a couple times. So we're using this as the mover. So let me see your, your range first. Do the first one. I'm actually gotten pretty good. I've been, yeah. I've been really working on it now. But for years, I couldn't lift that up over my head. I see what you're doing. And scoop a little more with your right hand. Your pec might be getting in the way, but and like pull it this way as you come up. So you're gonna turn around the corner. There we go. Yeah, to get a little more range. Mm -hmm. So it's like a circle. Yeah. Because one of the mistakes like, people make is they'll try to go straight up with it, but your, your shoulder's actually pivoting around a central point. So right. It's going to circle in this range. Right. That's yeah, brilliant. Because this is a combination of motion. Shoulder. So I, I just kind of noticed that this one I can get into position here. I can get a little bit of stretch. I feel it. It's good. But this one, I can't even get close. <laughs> it's already locked up. And it goes right around the trip cancer. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's do this too. This is the nice visual. You're going to lay on your side on the table here. And try to keep your pelvis that, way, that direction. And I just want this leg to fall off and see how it goes. So, and I'm a good example. My good so leg or bad leg? This is the bad leg. We're going to do both. Okay. So here's my less tight IT. Yeah. So when I come over here, and I switch sides, this one. Wants to stop right there. Got you. So the same thing as your right hip. Yeah. And, and we always think of driving probably contributes to it too. So you turn your leg out when you're driving. Well, years ago, I had uh, so, yeah, similar to mine, right? Like, I had two different MRIs on the right hip, and both surgeons told me I needed hip replacement surgery. Wow. So I reached out to Eddie Cohn, and he sent me to Mark Philippi okay. here in town. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Mark Philippi and I did a whole host of different rehab stuff, and I was able to squat again. It's been pretty good. 
Um, let me just, I just want a couple of reps on the, just the bar on Okay. No way. Anthony, you got a motion? Yes, sir. He's prepared, man. Now I'm concerned. What's this turning into? Um, <laughs> I hear lotion. Lotion <laughs> parlor. Turn the lotion on it. I know I didn't pay you. Turn that way, grab your ankles. <laughs> right. Ask for ass or cash. You Nobody know, gets treated for free. You know, it's Vegas. <laughs> what you got to do? Uh, let's lay it. That's that. Anyway, so I'm going to clear a trip right to you, Ben. And we'll just see what that gives us as far as we're on there. Uh, put you there to start with. Now. Right there, all right. All right, so we're just gonna hold that one till it fades. Yeah, until we fade. are, aren't we? Twenty seconds. I figured you would. Oh. Is this uh, children friendly or? Is... Uh, no. It's rated R for yeah. Rhino. Yeah. R for Rhino. Dear God. Yeah, the yelling actually helps. Yeah, I'll bet it does. <laughs> Good God. Okay. That's hey. my cardio for the week. Hey, happened? It does feel better. It seems like it released. It got hot. There we go. Okay, I'm going to slide up another centimeter. Yeah, so. I bet you will. <laughs> God. Figures I just squatted yesterday. You squatted yesterday? Yeah. Nice. So without doing anything else, go ahead and swing the leg over again. Let's see what that is. Oh, damn. So quite a bit better there. Yeah. So people are always scream and yell, oh, the IT band doesn't contract. You can't loosen the IT band. Well, there's yeah. a good example that you can't. Too tight. <laughs> it, it does have contractile tissue. Yeah. All right. So from here, I want you to bring this knee up to your chest. Now, that's not to say the TFL and the glute don't matter. They do. They do tie in. Right. Think of it as a common attachment point, you know? So it's, it functions almost like a tendon. Yeah. I think what you'll have to do is send me home with some homework so before each squat session I do something to 100% loosen that up a bit so I don't have that lean to the right. And what you'll find is you know all the gizmos out there, the vibrating plates and the massage guns, they have a neurogenic effect but they're not really changing the, the pressure of the tissue. Right. For you that just solid holding pressure is going to be the winner. It's going to turn off the tissue but it's also going to start to make some changes to it as well. So that would be something like a uh, a yeah, foam roller maybe, but right before I lift. You're too big for a foam roller. Yeah. It's either leaning into a barbell maybe, just kind of holding and pressing it. Gotcha. Or, you know, maybe one of the little tempering devices. Um, kind of a little ART in these spots just to give yeah, me a little, little movement with it. motion so I'm not leaning to one side. Right. Glute meat and TFL primarily. So yeah. if you want to lay on your back, I'm going to go to TFL on the sartorius as well. So sartorius runs Yeah, that here. one never hurts. Shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, why did I know this was going to happen? Who volunteers for this Bad things. I want to find out. Big, big strong guys that don't think this through. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah this will be a great video. Oh, yeah. sh what did we do here? Thanks, Doc. Okay. I'm the one with my hands in another man's groin, so yes, I think that's nice. the winner on this one. washed them before we got together. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that. It's good. thinking forward. <laughs> That's any right there, so we can go there. Yeah, still got a little right there. <laughs> funny dog. A little funny. <laughs> yeah. Finally, finally he cussed. <laughs> Give us the Diego Sanchez scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed those thumbs. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Results matter. Alright, check that range again. So just bring that leg over the side again. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, quite a bit better. Alright, stay there. Damn it. Not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Alright, push. Extend your glute just a little bit yeah. towards me. Towards me. This way? Yep. Yeah. And bring your heel back a little bit too. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Good. From right there, I want you to internally rotate your femur just a little bit. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Keep going. Keep going. A little more. All right, swing that leg again. Better or worse for Sam that time? Ah, it feels good. Feels like a little better there. Yeah. So I'm going to go to right there. Same thing. Bring the leg off all the way and let it hang. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to there and then let it hang a little more. A little more. 
good. All right, back up and let it hang one more time. Yep, not bad. All right, let's go, go back into the barbell again there and see what that yeah. looks like. Yeah, I don't feel the IT bad anymore. It's just where you stuck your thumb everywhere else. Feel any tension in there anymore? Let me lay face up here. I'm just going to check your ankle wrong. And slide down towards me. So toes go down all the way and then raise them up all the way. Okay. So you see a difference. There's a lot of dorsiflexion a little here, lost plantar a little bit there. Just going to traction this one. This one too over here. Perfect. Right. Point this toe down all the way. Back up and down and back up and down and back up and down up and down up and down. Good. One more time. All right. Let's put them both down again. Still got a little bit more to go here. So I'm gonna go right there. Bring this one up and then go down all the way and back up. Down all the way and up. Ah, it's right there. Go on. Three more. Good. All right, both down again. There we go. Almost. So your lack of plantar flexion is also, I think, part of why it's you're shifting off to the to the right on this left side. And then when you, you're having a hard time bringing this one up. Yeah. So I'm going to restore that too, and that's probably where that plantar is coming from. So flip over, go face down. I'm just going to clear the heel too. Perfect. All right, let's stand up. Basically. I'm gonna block here, bring my knee forward past my shoulder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And lean back all the way. You're gonna straighten the knee out this time. Good, forward again. And back. So this does three things. You're getting a myofascial change in the front of the ankle, particularly the retinaculum. And forward, we're moving the talus back under the shin bone a little bit. And we're also getting a stretch. Stretch? What's that? Is that thing where <laughs> joints elongate? I thought squatting was stretched. Too <laughs> <hot. laughs> stretch some things. I'm just excited I can do this and my knees don't hurt at right? all. Right? Like you, you should fix your own knees. <laughs> Alright, take a few steps, see how the ankles show there. Yeah. See if that feels lighter. Good. Jump into the barbell again. With no weight. This is my max. No weight. That's like we were with Ray, uh, Ray Williams, and he's like, dude, I can't even squat down unless I have like 365 on my back. Yeah. Does it feel like you use more weight over your heels now? Yeah, I don't feel like my heels are popping up. Yeah. Ankles are kind of important. All right, let's do it face up. And you can hold them. Only in Vegas, baby. It's a better one. Sometimes in Chicago. We're about to get vertical. <laughs> Alright, let's sit up and you're going to face that way. And raise that left arm up all the way again. Let's see what that realm looks like. So, still got a little bit more to go there. Let it hang. Gotta really drop you down. What are these things? I've got a bunch of these in my garage. My wife bought them. I think they're door stops. <laughs> I use them to get the groceries to keep this uh, closing. It's, it's a salty, sweet flavor for popcorn, I think. Yeah. Let that arm hang down a little more. There we go. A little more. A little more. There we go. Good. And let it hang. Let it hang. Perfect. Okay. And raise it up again. I feel pretty easy that time. That's the most kind of shrugging a bit. So it feels lighter on the joint now? Yeah. That kind of shrugging a little bit is kind of what I intend to do now. But do that again. So I'm creating the subacromial space that you're doing by shrugging. Yeah. Just by moving the humerus down a little bit. Okay. Give me that. All right, check that again. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that. It's better than your shirt. Shoo. So we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna have you go here, almost Arnold Press style, so we're right yep. there. 
And you know the drill on this one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Elbow down. Bring it up. And then raise the roof. And down. And up. And down. And so when you're doing like self ART, make sure you let go of tension at the top of the rum. So like when you're pressing, lighten up on the pressures to get near the top right. until it fades out. Like a lot of young practitioners, what they'll do is they'll just keep holding on with the same tension. And then what happens is the tension goes to the bone instead of stretching the muscle. Uh, All right, check it again. Yeah. Not bad. It feels pretty good. Yeah. Obviously, I'm kind of bound up a little bit. You know? From all the, the muscle bound? Benching I overdid. Do this one. Go straight back like that. This side. And you feel that across the anterior dog here? Yeah. So keeping the paw on this where it is, reach back more. Keep reaching back more. Keep reaching back more. Uh, straight back like you're trying to stretch your back out there. We go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A little further. A little further. A little further. Good. All right. Now let's go up again. Get vertical. So now here. There. Awesome. How about that? Look at that. Doing good. Sure. I'm fixed. For now. Yeah. Tip. We gotta do one more thing. Okay. Just the tip though. Yeah. I'm good. Roll in your back. <laughs> Fun spots. Should have shut my mouth. You know? We could have been done. Could have been out of here. Yeah. How was your fourth, man? It was good. <laughs> yeah. Got the kids swimming and eating. They were so excited. They got hot dogs and chips. They never get hot no? dogs and chips. Like, oh my gosh. You see the bus going around? They're like, did you see what hot dogs are made out of? Yeah. Lips and blah, 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 <laughs> and taints. And I'm like, yeah, they're still delicious. Woo. Got a good poker face on this one. Yeah. Yeah. There's people here. <laughs> this camera's going. Yeah. Good God, Still yeah, right. that's the one. Oh. This probably looks weird on a camera. Yeah, it does. I used that <laughs> tightener machine yesterday, too. The, the Sharon Stone? Yeah. Good girl, bad girl machine? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so those are sore. Get it together back there, guys. I don't think people realize how much the adductors are involved in the squat. So, yeah, I don't think people realize a lot of them if they squat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check that ROM again. Okay. Okay. I'll be right here on this bench. Please be done. Please be done. Please be done. <laughs> Please be done. I'll force to be done. I'll force that book into position. <laughs> Almost. All right. There is a pretty pretty big difference between yeah. the two. I can so, feel a lot of tension now, though. I'm trying, but I think that's where. Let's go closer, though. We got her a lot. When I started, I couldn't get it past here. Right. So, so we're getting there, and that's kind of what I need to work on. Sorry, Sweet. Make sure, you, yeah, make sure to go follow Stan. Instagram, your handle is? Stan Effortings. Everything's Stan Effortings. Everything's Stan Effortings. Yeah, there it is. The Twitter, Snapchat, do you Snapchat? The website, stanefforting.com. You on Snapchat? I don't even know what that is. Okay. So go to the website, stanefforting.com. I didn't have the internet when I was in college, Doc. I have no idea. But I got a, I got a seven-year-old at home who probably knows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what's a filter? And they're like, no, yeah. it's a deep fake. I was like, what's a deep fake? I have no idea. Do I want to know? Sweet. Well, thanks for coming in and working with us, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Yep. The other question is, how do you feel about Arnold's take on meat right now? Oh my God, Arnold's sellout. Unbelievable. It's terrible. I agree. Yeah. Cameron's pea plants. I mean, come on. I agree. Yeah. That's not going to be any good for anyone. No good. <laughs> you heard it from the man right here. There it is. All right, my man. Thanks, Todd. Yep.